Hello there. Today we'll be solving paper 4, May June 2008. This is again of two and a half hours. Okay, in this paper basically what we have to do is you were you're working for mill side tables, a small hiring company that rents furniture for local local events. You're going to automate some of their business processes. You will be asked to produce an acknowledgement letter to customers confirming the furniture required, the date and the venue. This will involve linking information from separate data files. Produce second letter to selected customers when items or furnitures are unavailable. Okay, uh, this will be done in Access. This is mail merging part. Create a manual system which will enable the user to produce these labels, links, produce reports driving information about books and customers. You are required to provide evidence of your work including screenshot of at various stages. Use document named this evidence. Okay, so first of all what we need to do is we have to create an evidence document. Okay, and I'll save it as Right. Candidate number, whatever the candidate number could be. There you go, and I'll save it. Now let's start and continue with the paper. The next part is okay. Uh, first of all, like I said before as as well, let's first of all open up the files and have a look what the files actually represent. Okay, we have customer ID, company, contact, and addresses. Fine. In the other file, we have the customer ID, venue, booking, number, venue date, accent. Okay. And these are some information about the furniture. We will get to know about these as you proceed further. So, let's start with the paper now. Okay. <coughs> Point one. You are going to create letters using database and mail facilities. Copy these files into work area. Create document name this. We've done that. All right. Use suitable software package to create a new database called mill site. So first of all, we need to create a new database. And database. And we will create a new database such as mill site. Create. Done. Next part basically says Point number four, import the files, this and this, into tables named new booking and customers, respectively. Right, so, external letter, text file, browse, go to the location, wherever you have the file. Yes, my location is obviously, it's not very near, you have to struggle a bit, there you go customer now you just have to be careful delimited you need to make the first row and it has to be comma separate values and just see if you have a date if you have date which is DMY make sure you do change it as DMY over here depends on your computer settings depends on the way data has been represented in your Excel file next primary key well this is fine we can use this as a primary key next and finish okay next we have to import the other file which is new booking next over here we have the date so we will change it into day month year see it's day month and year so advance i will change the date in not mdy into dmy otherwise i would have received an error now I won't get any error so next primary key no this can't be primary key it's not unique booking number yes it can be primary key and here we go fine so we have to give screenshot of this right right 
and then we can even mention over here uh, instead of doing that I should have taken it down anyway screen shot showing the design view of customers dot customers table access you don't have to mention access it's fine just mention complete customer table next we have to show new bookings and again we'll take a screenshot of this Screen shot showing the field names and the oops, why do I type it wrong? And the data types used for new bookings table. Right? So we have it. Next part, we have to create relationships. So database tools, relationships, add. Now over here, what we have is we have the customer ID and the customer ID. If you have a look, customer ID over here is unique. It's not being repeated. And if you look over here, customer ID over here is not unique. It's being repeated. This is many, and this is one. So we can create a relationship of one to many over here we have to give a screenshot of this as well ship being created right I did not take a screenshot I think so I did not I did not take a screenshot. Right, so we'll come here and here we go. Oh, sorry, I have done it so many times. I didn't see that down there. So I just need. There we go, and I can take this down there. Right. Mm, done with this part oops I did not click on ok create done I'll save it you can even create in this case you can even create a relationship report if they ask you to make take a print of the relationship report you can even do that okay the only thing you need to do is you need to go to the design view and in the page footer using the label you will type your name center number and gender number whatever it is well, it's not a requirement right now, so you won't do it. Next, let me just close all these and let's come back to the question. Okay. Uh, set customer ID and booking number fields as primary and make sure they are unique. We've already done that. Include evidence of this in your evidence document. We have done this as well. Establish relationship between these tables. Done. Provide a screenshot of the relationship created together with a brief explanation of the type of relationship used. We didn't do that, but it will be much better if we do that. Uh, one, two, many relationship has been created in this case as customer ID is unique in the customers table but appearing multiple times in the 
new bookings table thus one to many relationship has been created that's more than enough next is provide a screenshot done blue done make sure that the accent field in the new booking table is set to boolean format provide an evidence of this and include it in your document okay uh, we have to be sure that the accent field in the new booking table is in boolean format i think so we didn't do that this is one of the issue we did not do that so now it is now I can take a screenshot of this and here you go I have a proof that I've done it now accent field as So I need to show this done. This gives me this proof that it is accent field is actually okay. So it's much better that you uh, keep on bold it. But whatever we can do this afterwards. Leave it. Okay. Next part. Yes. Ah, one, one, one problem, one problem. This would have happened. Uh, actually, the point over here is that, ah, it was, sorry, this is just a, I, we were not supposed to do this. We were supposed to do, not this, uh, we selected the wrong one. This was, booking number was properly number. Let's see. No, it was number. Probably it was text, I think so. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. It was text. And accent was. Yes, no. Um, this is this is wrong. We should have set accent as uh, yes no. Uh, we don't need this. Uh, but even if we do that, what you will see is it does it. But that's this is not the right way. Um, the best way is that you always try to read ahead because sometimes, like forget for example, if we forgot to do this. Obviously, it would have been better that we would have done this. It doesn't matter. We can go back and we can import it again. It will just take some time. We have to import new bookings again. I'll just delete this, it will just take a while. Yes, so I'll go to externals, new booking, next, all we had to do was accent was supposed to be yes no, and date was supposed to be DMY, next, and primary key, now we'll use this, finish. Now what you will see is, we have the new bookings and as the question says uh, make sure that the accent field in the new booking table is set as boolean so accent was supposed to be true and false so what we'll do is we'll simply go to table tools and we'll change this into true false now it's right now what we can do is we can recreate the relationship and here we go now we can show a screenshot of this where it shows accent is yes no this is what we actually wanted previously that was not the right way of doing it so here we go now let's go further point number nine add the following records into the customer table Oof, yes bit time consuming but obviously we have to do it uh, customer table we need to add customer table let me add 
23 okay 23 the company don't <coughs> miss out any character you do know waste your time and obviously it might result in wrong data try to avoid simple errors try to read ahead it might take time some time but it will save you time a lot then we have 24 cop stoppers stage if, if I would have typed it it would have taken a lot of time so what I'm doing is but you won't be able to do this since you will get a PSD file you will not actually type it it's double D say business park then we have the same words But it's C three C U. It is three C U. Done for this. You can take a screenshot of this, showing that you have actually entered these two records. So what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot, and I will actually show that I have entered these two records into my table. Okay. Um, new records entered in custom first table And we will have new records entered in the new bookings table. Now we need to enter that. Uh, let me just, oops, that's the problem with the software that I'm using. It actually has some DLL error problem. Okay, next what we have to do is we need to add some data in the new bookings and this new data that we need to enter is this again 23 and we have this It gave me a null value error which meant we have to enter some data otherwise it won't actually leave it empty it has to accept it okay then we have to enter 300 in WPF here we go we need to enter 300 and 30 in 3T 3T we enter 30 done then we have 24 and then we have sweet orange 3484 3484 date is 02 08 
and 0 8 false and WD 80 and IR W 5 16 IR W 5 a 16 if I'm right yes done with this I would again like to take a screenshot of this showing that actually I have entered the following records and here you go done next you simply save the data and come to the next point point number 11 using sudo software package and the file at now.rtf prepare letters for the customers who have not yet received an acknowledgement for the booking who have not only produce a letter if the accent is false right save and print this document showing the merge and field codes make sure your center number candidate number and name are shown in the page of page of foot of the page print an evidence of the selection method used and place this in your evidence document merge the selected records to to a document and save it as this so first of all what we need to do is um, let me just get off this again and first of all we have to open up the file which is your act now why we have to have a look that which which fields are required these are the fields the company name the customer address which is required the company contact name uh, we need the booking number the venue date the venue and that's it so first of all we need to make this a query add and we'll first of all add step by step company name the company um, the customer's address which is the entire address obviously to include the postal code and all that as well uh, the booking number the venue the venue date right thank you the order and blah blah whatever it says right so within the spot now the question was that we have to Use the software package uh, and the file. This prepare letters to customers who have not yet received an acknowledgement of the booking, which have not. Only produce a letter if the accent field is false. So we need to add the accent field. If I run this now, I have the accent field coming. So what we need to show is where the accent field is basically false. Right? So here we go. That's what we have. Now what we do is we simply will save this as um, let's see what the question paper says. Merge and select records and document and save it as I will save it as ag merge so that we don't have a confusion. I'll save it as ag merge. And okay now what I have to do is I need to mail merge this with my document how do you mail merge you will come into mailing you will come to select recipients use existing list and I need to go into my documents I will have mail side open and we just need to select what act merge okay once I do this I get the respective fields over here I insert date field here so in DMY format, D month and year. So insert date time. I need to insert in which format? Day, full month, and full year. Day, full month, and full year. This is the format we need. Insert company name and customer's address here. So I will insert company's name, company. And I'll obviously addresses they have to come in one line right 
country space postal code dear company contact name we forgot to add it did you see that now what do we do it doesn't matter all we do is we need to open up our access file again because obviously we will not go ahead you have to be careful when you do this here you go uh, recent file enable content this was the one design view and we were supposed to add um, company ID the contact now this was the contact that we needed I'll save it again and now what I'll do is I will select recipients again right and now I have the company contact name here insert the venue here insert the venue date here right I'm done with all this now all I have to do is preview the result and I have all the results here so we need to take a printout of the merge codes how do you display the merge codes alt F9 alt F9 will help you to display the results over here next if I see this in my print preview I don't see the merge codes so for that I have to go into the options advance and over here I have to show them in the print so I'll say print field codes and show as well now if I go to file print I can see the merge codes and I can print them don't take a screenshot when they ask you to print you need to print so here you go alt f9 I'm back let's come to the next part so we have printed the document merge the selected records to a document and save it as acmerge.rtf so we will save this as file save it as and I'll save it as in the same paper file and I'll save it as ag merge right and I'll save it done and I'll close it so we done with the first this part next part you are going to create a system to print letters to customers who have ordered furniture that is unavailable apologizing and suggesting alternatives before the launch letter are sent it is decided that the dates between the dates this and this inclusive and the white dining chairs are to be withdrawn for repair you should make sure that the only that that only the customers who have or already been sent acknowledgement letters receive the apology use apology.rtf as a template insert where indicated fields that will require keyboard input when merge is created use unavailable item and replacement item as text for relevant prompts save and print the source document showing the merge and field code to make sure that your center room is present you are required to merge letters to customers who have received an acknowledgement ordered the white chairs made booking between this inclusive enter this when prompted for unavailable and this when prompted for replacement provide an evidence of the selection method used and place this in your evidence document right uh, even in the previous file if you remember our mail side we were supposed to provide evidence of this as well I just remembered we didn't do that so it's much better that you do it okay here it is now this was evidence of oops, sorry 
evidence of a accent. Right. Next, what we have to do is we have to make a new query. But before we do that, before we make a new query, uh, use apology.rtf as a template. We need to use apology.rtf file that we have been given and I just close the file we'll open it again here we go this is our apology dot rtf it contains the following let's have a look company name customer's address Company's contact name, same same details. The only difference is this part. Unfortunately, we have been unable to. This is the prompt, and this is another prompt. Now let's continue and let's make a query first. Query design, add them first. Now what do we need to add? Let's see. What we need to add is again. Let's see. Here, company name and the customer's address. The company name contact the address okay the venue venue date the accent and the white time inches because since it requires right and the booking number here the booking number is also required right so we have all of them now let's have a look at the question before the acknowledgement was sent, okay, uh, it is decided that between the dates 2nd and 9th August. So, if I run this, this is what actually I have. Right. So, what I have to find is I have to find between two values. What you can see over here is now I have is this is my month, day, year. This is my MDY okay it's coming as MDY right because the computer settings are accordingly so what I have to do is I have to find out in the venue date I have to type and find bookings made between 2nd and 9th inclusive so all we can do is between 2nd and 9th 2008 right so just type between 2nd and 9th am I right yes this is what we get what else uh, receive an acknowledgement true accent has to be true Oops, sorry true right and done this order the white dimensions WD so WD has to have WD Was it WD? Let's have a look. WD. Okay. So we have to find, we'll simply write as not null. Now, how will this help us? Is not null means that we need to find out those records that do not have a null value. So we will we'll get the WD where there are no empty values so we're done with this we are done with this part so we'll save it now I have to save it as what I will save it as apology how's that I'll simply save it as apology save oops 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 I think so I, I, I just mistakenly I pressed yes I'll save it as apology the queue is apology and I'll close it and I need to insert the fields now. I'll mail merge. 
I will go to my documents, mail side, apology. I'll first of all insert it in DMY. See, it's coming accordingly. That's why it was coming that format over there as well. Day month year. So you are right. Insert. Date time. Now we want in DMY. So day, month, and year. Day, month, and year. This is fine. Here we go. Now we have the company name. And the address company name and customers address so company and the address one two three and postal code insert the company contact name here insert company contact name here company contact name here and then we need insert booking number here done insert the venue here insert the venue date here done with this unfortunately we were unable to supply the insert prompt field for unavailable items here so the question was that uh, use unavailable item and replacement item as the text for the relevant prompt so this will be used for as the prompt right when okay from the prompts enter this when prompted for unavailable item and this when prompted for replacement so simply select this let's first do it for the unavailable here we go rules fill in so this is the fill in and for this fill in we have to use this prompt and for this we have to use This is the prompt and this is the default. Done with this as well. Provide an evidence of the selection method used and place this in your evidence document. So that is for access, we'll just do it. Uh, merge the selected records to a document and print this. So we need to merge them and we need to take a printout of these two letters one is this and one is this we need to take a printout of these two once we're done with this the next is probably we'll take a printout of the merge codes used as well my alt f9 take a printout of this as well and selection method used was this apology design and this was the selection method selection method for right we can say oops uh, no I'll just close this I'll save it and I'll say uh, we tense for evidence for apology and here we go this is what we have right so we have the evidence for apology as well right or wrong right next part the next part it basically says um, you're going to create a menu system using hyperlinks within the word process document use the file this as a template to create this menu menu.rtf so I have to use menu 
blank.rtf click here to print uh, acknowledgement letters explain here click here to print a polish letter explain insert explanation here and then we have to use insert click here to open data source this which is which is actually access file so first of all we have to make a link over here acknowledgement letters select right click hyperlink and acknowledgement letters so this is what act now right okay and we need to give explanation over here and what we have to do is explanation will be very simple just look at the question again this was your first one uh, use it to sort of package the file list with letters to the customers who have not yet received an acknowledgement uh, letters for customers who have not yet so we can simply say over here is this okay. uh, in order to select the customers who have not received an acknowledgement letter of their booking right in order to print apology letters and that was create an decision to print letters to customers who have ordered furniture that is unavailable okay uh, So that's all what we'll do. This much explanation is enough. Customers who have ordered furniture that is unavailable. Click here to open data source. Okay. Okay. Use this file as a template to create menu. For this, for each menu item, create a hyperlink from the click here to open the relevant file. For each menu item, add a text to explain to the user what the menu does. Place an image this to on the law. Let's first do that. Okay, and click here to open the data source. So, hyperlink, and we have to open up the data source. Oops, I placed it somewhere else. You know, it was in my documents. We have to go there. Mill side. Copy it. Come back. And place it here. Now, I have the file hyperlink and hyperlink with my my side okay now if I do this it will open up right and if I click on this it will open up this and I think so we didn't click create for this hyperlink and this was for your apology letter. There you go. I click on this. It open up this. So here we go. Done with this? Yes. Next part is basically print this menu. We need to print the menu, right? Uh, it will be much better that you print the menu using the field codes as well. Alt F9. Do this as well. Print with the codes and print the letter. The menu, sorry. Uh, provide evidence of the links, paths, and file names used in and place this within your document. Done. Okay, this was left. Uh, place the image mill side in the top right corner so so that it is 14 centimeters from the left side of the page and 2 centimeters from the top of the page. Move the title down so that it is below the image. Create a hyperlink this with the image. So all do is all we do is we need to place an image over here which is here that's the image and we need to place it the question says uh, so that it is 14 centimeters from the left side 14 centimeters from the left side now let's have a look 
What you see over here? Uh, let me just start from here. Right. Centimeters. Uh, this will be. Let's let's have the exact measurements. First of all, let's see the page size. Uh, A4, right? We're printing an A4. This is your. It's one till here. One. This is your two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There you go. So 14 has to be till here. Let's do it once more. It has to come to 11 right over here. So the best way will be we make it square and we place the image over here. There we go. Or, or there's another way. If, if it doesn't work this way, uh, we'll simply just take this down. I'll just take this down. Let's read again so that we don't do it wrong. Uh, place the image this on the top right corner of the menu so it's 40 centimeters from the left side. Uh, and okay. So we have to place the image over here, right? I'll take it down. Now I bring the image, and now I'll do it. We have to bring it to eleven, right? Eleven, and two centimeter. Again, this is this is your one. This is your this is this is your one. And this is your two. There you go. Now it's fourteen from here, and one from two from here. Right, right. Done with this part, and then we'll take a printout. Okay. Uh, you're going to create some reports for the managers using a database and word processing software. Create a report that will display all the bookings. So let's just close this, save it, and let's create now. Create a report that will display all the bookings. Make sure that the booking number this is in group data. So it's very simple. We have to make a query design, add them, and all we have to do is we will add booking number, we will add the company, we will add the venue and the venue date, the venue and the venue date. Uh, fields are shown okay now what we have to do is we'll simply save this I will save it as new booking All right uh, new bookings okay I'll make it new bookings one right now what I'll do is I need to create I do group this by company so I'll come into the report wizard and I'll select new bookings one. I'll transfer all of them and I'll group them by company. What else? Make sure that all data is fully visible. Export this data into a document for processing. Place your name and all that. So I have this. All I have to do is make some adjustments in the layout view so that everything is visible. Right? And everything is visible. Now all I have to do is I need to export this into Word. I have it in Word. Yes. And what else? I need to export this word, place your name in the in the name in the footer. So in the footer in Word, I'll go into insert, I'll go into footer, I'll insert 
longer name. Center number. And I will search the candidate number. Done. And I'll simply close this and I'll save it. And I'll simply close this as well and I'll save it. Next part. Create a report that will display the company that have multiple booking. Okay. So we need to find out the companies that have multiple booking. Make sure that only this, 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 this are shown from this data by company and sort ascending order by venue date again we have to export this change the title to companies with multiple bookings okay so what we do is uh, export this data into the other word processor so first of all what we have to do is we have to uh, make sure that only booking number company venue and venue date Dates fields are shown. So, for multiple bookings, the best way is that we directly create it through Query Wizard. Duplicates. Okay. Because we have to find multiple bookings. Okay. Duplicates, more than one. So, next, which field might contain duplicate information? Um, company. Right. What other fields do you want to come to come along? I want. Uh, hold on, hold on. Booking. Uh, the best way will be let's first make a query, right? And then we can use query wizard. Let's add the booking number, the company. Oops. The company the venue and the venue date right then we have since we have to select data from multiple tables it's much better that you have you first create a query a query design and then you use it okay done run it i have this now I'll go to create and i'll go to query wizard okay duplicates and i'll use multiple book for this and I'll use company and I'll use what other fields do I need I need them and here you go this is what I have I have the companies that have multiple booking export this into word I have this in word right and okay all I have to do is um the question says read again export this report into document for word processing place your names and number in the footer right and change the report title with this okay it doesn't say the size and all that we want we'll just make it like this and save the document as multiple book Save it as again as done. Right. Multiple book is done as well. Okay, next is 16. Create a report uh, and the print report. Obviously, we were supposed to print that one as well. Create a report that will display venues with more than one booking. Okay, now when use more than one booking, make sure that only when you when you date. So again, same way we have to redesign. We have to add when you when you date company booking number right and uh, when multiple venue will be the name so i'll save it as multiple venue then create qe wizard duplicates multiple venue and uh, group this data by venue i'm not group 
I was supposed to group. I didn't do this part. We were supposed to for the group it. Anyway, uh, I'll tell you how to do it over here, and you can you can again redo this part again. We were supposed to group it as well. I didn't group it. I just exported it. We were supposed to group it. Okay, group this data by venue. Okay, first of all we have to find when does it have more than one booking. So venue, rest of them should come and finish. Okay, we have this now, and we save it. Find duplicates. Find duplicates for multi whatever. So now what we have to do is we have to create a group report. So find duplicates for multi level. Okay, what do you want to do? Grouping? Yes, I want to group and I want to group by venue. So group by venue. I have this. Good. Now what I have to do is I have to export this into Word and print it. So I'll go I'll simply take it to Word and I have it in Word. Right? I have it in Word. What else? Save this as multi menu, print this document, print your evidence document. So we have to print the evidence document as well. Okay. Uh, bye for now. It was nice doing all the paper. We did miss out some points, for example, the grouping part and few tiny tiny things. Make sure that you do remember how to do all these points. Try to read ahead. For example, we missed out this in the beginning, but still not bad. We were able to do this paper probably one half hour or one hour, but good. Wish you all the best.